It's been a burning issue for Bahamians, the fees associated with just about every banking service offered. And recently, one clearing bank increasing their check cashing fee to nearly $20. It sparked much concern, but as we hear in this report from Clint Watson, there could be intervention pretty soon. Come on, Bahamians. They're killing us with these bank fees and we're sitting down and allowing them to do it. We need to speak up. It's outrageous. I'm not paying nobody to cash a check. The cries of Bahamians have reached a boiling point regarding local commercial banks and what many call outrageous fees on just about every service they offer. Pick up a brochure or go online and the fees are too numerous to name. Canadian banks are dictating to the Bahamian banks about escalating the fees. That is wrong. It should be the central bank that should have some teeth in what fees are being charged to the consumers and to, and to the Bahamian people. Now the perception is left out there that commercial banks are no longer interested in interacting with customers. Many of them promote their no fees if you use ATMs or if you log on online and do your banking. But if you come into the bank and do transactions across the counter, you could pay big bucks. Don't care what part of the bank you use, they charge you. Whether it's to the counter, ATM, whatever. You know, they're charging you for, you look at you getting charged for them to keep your money for you. You know, we're paying for them to keep our money and when we go for it, they're charging us to get it from them. Which it don't make no sense, I might as well put my money under the mattress like they should. But many of these high fees have been in play for some time. Introduced at a lower amount, they went unchallenged despite hushed undertones of disapproval. For example, in many banks, they introduced a check cashing fee for non-customers at $5. Now that's as high as $15 to $16, as in the case of Royal Bank, just to cash one check. It's a move President of the Bahamas Financial Services Union, Teresa Mortimer, says she refuses to accept. And they tried it, you know, Royal Bank tried it on me. But I stand firm and saying, listen, my check said $200. I'm not accepting $190. Give me my check to carry back the claim so he can pay me my $200 or give me the $200 that he, gave me, that he told you to give me. I'm not paying you to cash Clint check. Clint said his money is here and he sent me to get it. This is his signature. That's the right to get his money. Give it to me. It's the person's check that is in their bank. Why are you charging me $16? Mitzi Chipman says the same exorbitant fees, in her view, are happening for other unknown services. Just lately, I got a printout on my account from Finco. When I realized this, they're charging me $88 for maintenance fee. What is that? Now it's important to note that government is doing something about this. The minister responsible for consumer affairs, Senator the Honorable Dion Folk, says they are prepared to take action. Our, our Consumer Affairs um, Division of the Ministry have received numerous complaints about the administrative fees, um, not only for cashing checks, but also for making deposits. And we are investigating it. We have a meeting with the clearing banks on the 19th of this month. We're meeting with all of the commercial banks and with the Central Bank of the Bahamas. It's a very serious matter, and it's a matter that we are investigating. And while we await the results of those actions, according to the union president of the Bahamas Financial Services Union, there's no greater response and result than when the people take action and demand change. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.